This is the Transformers Movie the Best MB19 Hound by Takara Tomy. I picked up this figure at Our Toys. And boy, does it look so delicious. I mean, I thought this was already a bonus for picking this one up because this was, you know, makes it more accurate in alt mode. But then I got a little peep inside. I missed that first time around. He's got the Age of Extinction weapons. And oh my goodness, that, that, that just makes this purchase all the more worth it so um comes with a nice instruction manual that's in japanese which i can't read here is the packaging here are the other figures you might want in the movie the best assortment and there he is he does look a little bit too, too green the, the green looks a little bit too dark uh, but it looks great, actually. I'm uh, just, you know, mentioning that out of it, just to say, just to uh, point out that is it, it the the the, the, the truck bed makes it look more accurate, but the uh, does is the color more accurate than the Hasbro version? We'll have to wait. We'll have to find out, right? Speaking of the Hasbro version. This is going to be a comparison video, not a straightforward Transformers review. So, yeah, we're just going to compare them because I've already done the review of this one. And it's essentially the same figure, just repurposed. Okay, let's take it out of the packaging. same carton like Mumblebee had this part and just repurposed it and I was right he does have the age of extinction weapons instead of the um, the last night weapons that's fine actually these are the if you ask me I like these weapons better all right, and here they are, uh, both uh, side by side in alt mode. The Hasbro version, obviously, and this is the Takara Tomy movie best version. And clearly, apart from the colors, darker green, lighter green, mm, they both look they both look accurate. Uh, army green colors for this vehicle, but again, looking at that Photoshop uh, image of Hound. I think from the last night, uh, the color should be, just like Bumblebee, should be in between these two extreme shades of green. I'm nitpicking and all, but I like this color, but I kind of like this one now, more the more I look at it. Okay, um, obviously this one has that big cannon, and this is... This is the guns. These are the guns that the Hasbro version has. That's all well and good. Put that here. And this is the, the alt mode. And the instructions clearly say, if you're, if you're wondering where all the weapons went, instructions tell you just lift this truck bed out or the canopy. The instructions uh, say that you can put all the weapons neatly stacked and in under the this cover, this uh, truck bed cover, and that to me is amazing. I, I, you know, I didn't expect it to fit as nicely as this one. And as you can see, if you remove weapons, there are some molded uh, bits of uh, mortar or RPGs right there i mean they didn't have to do that but hasbro decided to uh, takara tomi i should say decided to ammunition belt belt clips and uh the um all those mortars and rocket propelled grenades um okay let me just stick that back in uh some of the, some of the peg holes are a little bit tight some are a little bit loose like this one's very tight 
this one is, is a little bit loose uh, for, for this. I, I swapped the guns already and the peg is just really a little bit too thin. Just a tad bit too thin uh, for the peg holes. But it will stay nicely. Okay. So this will act as a shield later on in robot mode. I'll show that off later. You just connect it right there. Now the instructions don't say anything about this one. Uh, let me show you. The instructions just tell you the usual thing, the age of extinction. This is the age of extinction gimmick with the weapons. We're not gonna do that because you show that because you already know that. Access the shield, you can put all the weapons there. And that big gun just goes in robot mode. And the rest are just instructions on how to transform Hound, which is fine. Um, but if you look at this part, and I and I, this is what I did. I just tried to do that. It's a little bit tight, but it will stay on right there. And that is so cool. Um, it, it's sort of hidden in this if you look at it at this angle, but here it just fits so nicely I think it fits much better than that age of extinction out and I, I know you're probably wondering what's the big deal with the weapons Why am I a little bit giddy that I do have these weapons again? I have I'd sold my age of extinction hound and I was kind of regretting regretting it because Well, I just wanted one hound and I thought this was the superior hound because of the size and the accuracy of the details and all that, but he didn't have all those weapons that he had during Age of Extinction, which probably used a lot more of them during last night. And I was like, uh, maybe I should have just sold the figure without the weapons, but I sold it to a buddy. So I wanted it to be as complete as possible. Okay, I let it go and I felt a little bit of remorse uh, or regret, just not remorse, but regret in, um, letting that figure go because of the weapons. And now I realize that the movie vest has those weapons. I'm ready to let this one go, quite honestly. And uh, this is the hound for me. And just in alt mode, perfect. Um, I love it. And the, the way the weapons fit nicely in this cover, the truck cover, just it, it it just completes this figure for me i love it i love that gimmick and we haven't even gone to the robot mode so very very nice that's how it looks like okay um other noteworthy things too that you might notice is that the the dust stains on the wheels is more prominent on this one it uses a very similar gray plastic uh the the hubcap or the rims are painted green uh, you get to see that familiar uh, glossy blue window. I think they're the same paint just from looking at it. This one just <clears throat> feels a little bit brighter. I'll show you just a tad bit. Um, okay. Uh, the headlamps looks to be the same. Mercedes logo. The gray they used on this one is a little bit darker than this one. The plastic, the gray plastic, just a tad bit darker. Uses the same as the same tempos of Decepticon crossed out um, faction logos. This one, albeit, is a little bit more clearer than this one. Uh, there is no white square here. That's maybe for the Red Cross logo that they didn't do, and it's it's easy to put a Red Cross sticker there if you have to. Um, uh, more paint on it. Uh, this one appears to be like a lighter, more metallic gray than this one. This one's a darker, muted gray, which is fine. Uh, uh, the, I guess for the radiator, the mesh, the grill is, is unpainted here. It's paint. Okay, let's get them into robot mode. And here they are in robot mode. Hasbro version, movie the best, Takara Tomy version take nothing away from this figure it's an amazing figure in fact when it first came out this thing sold out very very quickly out here in manila but this is my hound age of extinction the last night hound this is the definitive hound for me i am just about ready to let this one go um, he does not have these weapons. Not really a big fan of these weapons. They look more, more space type of weapons rather than the 
earth-based weapons that Hound was using in the movie. And I wanted to show that the other weapons, uh, the pistols and shotguns and whatever, they still fit. They won't, you don't have to remove them in the shield, even if he's holding the shield. So that's pretty cool. He can store them within the shield. You know, raise this up just to extend that. Um, sort of feels like a riot shield. Um, and the weapons can store there. He, it, it feels like how he was in the movies. Like he, he was just getting weapons here and there. I don't know where he stored it. He was on his back or whatever. And this this seems like a nice idea to just store them in the shield. You can still use that Gatling gun. Yeah, same way as he did in, in that figure used it in the Age of Extinction Hound figure. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, just put this down get rid of this so you can see the basic differences in paint uh, the silver again as i mentioned is much different here it's a little bit brighter the gunmetal gray is much shinier on this one the orange is a little bit lighter uh, and as you can see the ammo on his shoulders or his biceps it's green painted orange metallic orange this one is uh, gray just painted uh, flat or not flat but not as metallic orange than this one green instead of uh, gray um, the beard is painted more here I actually like the paint of the beard here this one is they just painted like the bottom half of it Let me show you and yeah as you can see it's uh I, there's no way to see it because he's packaged in, in alt mode and yeah the eyes look the same uh, you can still remove the helmet wait let me just move this one so yep same and with the helmet you can see there's a white paint on this one that's supposed to be where the red cross uh, logo or emblem is supposed to be they, they just didn't do it okay um the fall headlamps have been painted here. Um, the um, the pistol belt or web belt has been painted differently, green, gray. Uh, again, the uh, the silver on the legs much different, or the gunmetal gray on the legs much different on on their shins as this one. So all in all. Do you need to get this one if you already have this one? If you want more accurate, a more accurate, more definitive hound, yes. Uh, he costs about fifty dollars. Uh, this one will set you back twenty five, thirty dollars. I think it's worth it. Uh, the mere fact that he has the Age of Extinction hound weapons instead of the uh, the Space Age weapon. Uh, he's got a blast shield that turns into that more accurate truck bed cover. Uh, I like it. Uh, the green colors on this one, I'm, I kind of like it more than this one. Uh, I guess between the two, this kind of green is much closer to the one we've seen on screen. Maybe, maybe not. Should be somewhere in the middle, but debatable. To me, this is the definitive hound. And if you're a hardcore uh, movie transformer collector you have got to pick this one up i cannot recommend it enough um, again like i said take nothing away from this figure it's great it's amazing but this is even better uh 10 times better than this one if you ask me because uh i think takara tomi really really nailed it with this figure and i'll probably let this one go and pass it off to a buddy so there you go, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this little video review. This has been the Transformers Movie the Best MB-19 Hound by Takara Tomy. Thanks for watching. All right, one thing I did forget to mention is this gun. It's a little bit tight. This piece right here wasn't cut properly. And as such, when you try to fold it up like this, this is just on my copy. I'm pretty sure if you do get your own copy of this one, it's gonna be fine, but this one, takes a little bit of effort just to tap that in it feels like you're gonna break it but it doesn't and like i said <laughs> a little bit of a quality issue i was afraid i was gonna break it but that's what's wrong with this um with my copy of this gun
Nevertheless, still pretty cool.